hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because today we are back again doing our villager profession houses. Last episode we did an awesome shepherd house. Today we're going to jump right into that grindstone and we're going to be making a weaponsmith. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait to get this started. But first off, let me go ahead and check out the last build we did. And here is our shepherd's house we built on the last episode. So check the description if you guys want to get caught up and build this one for yourself but for right now let's get it started with the toolsmith all right and here we go with the dimensions so everything's all laid out in wool count out the blocks find yourself a nice spot and we'll get this started right now back here on this edge with the orange and the green that is the main structure for the house and then out here with the yellow and the light blue this is just a little uh, fencing in uh, for our forge area which will be right here and then this will be another little bit of a wall divider the entrance will be right here to this front part of the house now we're going to start back here in the main structure for right now let's just use smooth sandstone later on we're going to be bringing in some regular sandstone to texture this up but for right now let's start right here on this edge and we're going to go down one two three four five six seven eight and nine then we're going to turn this corner let's go a one two three four five and six turn this corner another one two three four five six seven and eight and then connecting this right here let's just say one two three four and five we're just going to knock down this part right here so we can get in to this part of the house and then from here we're going to go right from this line an extra one two three four five six and seven turning this corner one two three and four and then just connect from that side to here one two three four five and six we're also going to knock down a spot here for our door and just count from this block one two and three we're going to knock down these two and then you should have another three space right here to this section and it'll be a two wide gap to get in now what we're going to do is let's lift all of these blocks we just placed up by four total for now now that everything is up by four let's just cover up this little top part so we can have our way in and we're going to put some upset on stairs let's put one here and then one on that side leaving a too high space to get in we're also going to cover up this section here just one down and an upside down stair here and then next thing what we're going to do is let's actually put a, a block here just a block right in this section lined up perfectly to that line here and then one on this section perfectly lined up then i'm going to grab some stairs let's use some smooth sandstone stairs and just go all the way down we're going to give it a layer all the way around just like this it gives us a nice little border in between where we're going to do the first and the second floor so we're just going to surround this all the way around and then connect back to this section right there and then this gap let's just go ahead and cover that bit up right there on this point we're also going to lift this up one more level all the way around just like so and then that should connect up to this level next section we're going to get some smooth sandstone slabs and let's put one on top every other one going all the way down to this level we're also going to put one down right here let's get rid of this block because that's going to be a way to get up to the next floor up here put another sandstone slab every other one just like this and then we're going to grab our spruce trap doors and put those in the gaps going around like so. Next up, we're going to grab our yellow terracotta. And you don't have to use yellow. You can use any color terracotta. It would look awesome as well. We're going to lift this up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to wrap this all the way around the top. And there we go. We got this up by six. Next up, let's go ahead and put some upside down smooth sandstone stairs. And we're going to go around and put one in every other one just like this until we wrap this around. And then after that, let's grab some of our slabs of our smooth sandstone and put it in the the gaps we missed after that we're going to grab a full block of our smooth sandstone and wrap this around and then once we have that let's put our slabs of our smooth sandstone every other one all the way around and then to match what we did down here let's put our spruce trap doors in those gaps and it should look like this in the end now the next bit of detail i'm going to grab our spruce trap doors and line up this level all the way around as well now one optional detail you don't have to do this but i think it will look pretty cool you grab a loom you turn it sideways and you put that in these gaps that we have up here and we can wrap this around and it gives us a nice bit of detail on the top and there you go it should look like this all the way around now next up let's cover up this top part what i'm going to be doing here let's grab some of our spruce and let's take it down going down like this every other one and then in the gaps we're going to grab our trap doors and let's take this all the way down as well and at the end the roof should look just like this now jumping back down in this area we're going to give this a flooring to get to the next level and well technically a ceiling from down here we're going to grab some slabs and do the same thing that we did on the top let's do it down here on the bottom just some slabs going straight down uh we're going to be at this level so we're going to be able to knock down these three blocks right there then we can grab our trap doors of our spruce and just line this area up right here and we have a way to get out through here and we have a way to get in right on this level i'm going to put a little upside down stair right there of our spruce 
Then next up, let's go right down here and let's start uh, making some stairs to get up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a line of our regular smooth sandstone going all the way down this way. I'm gonna put a stair right here at this level and a stair every other level until we get down to this spot and then just cover up the rest in the middle. Then from here, we're gonna give this a little bit of an overhang. So let's put an upside down stair, an upside down stair and a slab in the gap right here. I'm gonna grab some of our campfire blocks and let's go down from here, one and two, one and two, another two here. Then let's extinguish this really quick. Then after that, under here, we're gonna go ahead and put a couple of our spruce trap doors and then an extra lining of one, two, and three spruce trap doors on the top, giving you this little elevated look on the bottom right there. Now from here, let's work on this wall. I'm gonna go right from this back and we're gonna grab our strip spruce log and let's take this up, one, two, and three. Down here, I'm gonna grab our smooth sandstone again. Let's go down one, two, three, and four. Here we're gonna go again, another one, two, three, and four. We're gonna grab our spruce fences and go down one, two, three, and four here. On the top, we're gonna put a spruce slab and then bring this up another one, two, three, and drop your spruce slab on the top. We're gonna repeat this again, another one, two, and three, up again, our log again, up by three, slab on top, and just line that up with our fences. And then we're doing this one more time. So another one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Take this up by two, bring your fences all the way down, Take this one up one, two, and three. Let's put a slab on the top. And then on the top of these, we're gonna grab our spruce trap doors and just line up the top right here on top of every fence we just placed all the way to the end. Then we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. So this goes right up against this wall. Another one, two, and three. Bring our smooth sandstone up one, two. Take this up another one, two, and three here. Fences on the top, slab on each side, and then the trap doors in those gaps. Now here in the bottom, we can go ahead and work on this little forge area. If we're counting blocks, right from this edge is a one, two, and three. So right here, we're gonna drop a brick. Let's take this one up though, up by two. Give it a space of two in the middle and we can put brick on the bottom, that's fine. Then up by two right here. Then we're gonna grab another full block, put one here and then put one on this side. We're also gonna be putting a stair facing down and another one facing down right here. Then next up, I'm gonna put an upside down stair on this side, upside down stair on this side. Then we're gonna go ahead and put another full block on each side. Let's also put two full blocks on top of that. I'm gonna put a stair facing this direction, one facing this direction, just like so. And then I'm gonna put another stair right here on the top and another one on the top here, giving us this look to it. Then we can also do a little bit of texturing. I'll do it at the end with granite, but for right now, just do it out of brick. Then what I'm gonna do is right here, we're gonna go ahead and just put two full blocks on top. Then let's break these two off so it gets a nice transition in because we're gonna take this all the way up and we're gonna break through this uh, section over here. You could keep it on the outside if you don't wanna mess with this, but I wanna pretty much integrate it with the build. Then from here, I'm gonna take this up. So there's another one, two, three, four, five. Let's knock these two out. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then from here, I'm gonna go one up. I'm gonna put a stair on this side and a stair on this side. Then let's go on the inside part here. We can knock these two out and take this up another one, two, three, four. Then let's go up five and six. From here, we're just gonna grab our campfires. Oh, not those campfires right there. And then surround the top here with some oak trap doors. Now, once we have that, we can mess around with these uh, a little bit. Just break up the walls a little bit. In random spots, you don't have to go exactly where I go. So I could put a stair right here. Let's put that facing down. Maybe put a little upside down stair right there. And then maybe here at the top, we can go ahead and twist this one here and maybe have that facing that direction. And at the end, we can come back in here and just randomly texture a little bit of our granite just to make it look a little bit more unique. And then at the end, it should look like this. Now, other things you could do is you could hop on the inside and just take this little bit out and then cover up this section going all the way up with our bricks. And it should look like this from the inside. And then you can come back in and just texture this as well a little bit going down. Now here we're gonna do another little bit of an overhang and let's do one slight modification. We can go ahead and take that bit out. Let's take this up another one and two. Let's also go on this side and count. So it's one, two, three, four, five right here. We're gonna go up one, two, three, four, and five right there. Let's put a fence on top of each and it's a spruce fence. Then we're gonna grab our slabs of our spruce and let's take this overhanging that bit by one and then going down one, two, three, four, five, six and it should be seven to hit the back of that wall. Do the same thing over here, so overhanging that, and take this all the way down to the end. We're also gonna do this every other one. So it's gonna go down like so. We can go ahead, actually we could remove that bit because it's gonna get in the way. So we can go ahead and take that down. And it should look like this 
then we're going to grab our trapdoors. This time I'm going to be bringing in our oak trapdoors. And let's take that all the way down and matching where we place the other one. And we're going to do it to all three of these sections. And then from here, we're going to grab some of our spruce fence gates. And let's just connect the fences together. And then this fence to the back of that wall. And then this fence to the section right there. And just for added details, we can randomly just scatter some of our barrels just randomly into these, um, well, these pillars that we have placed already. And that just adds a little bit more detail all the way around. And it should look just like this once we're done. Then next up, before we move on to anything else, let's come back in here and grab some of our regular sandstone and just texture in a little bit down here in random spots going all the way around wherever we have any of this smooth sandstone in place. And there you go. At the end, it should look like this all the way around. Some stairs, some of the slabs changed with that regular sandstone just to break it up a little bit around this area. Now, let's work on windows and doors. So let's actually start right here on this side. I'm going to add a window. Let's actually count right from this block a one, two, three. We're going to go up another one and two. Let's get rid of these two right here. I'm going to put a upside down stair right here. And it could be the sandstone one or also the smooth one. You can mix it. It's all good. And then right next to it, we're going to be putting some trap doors on the side for shutters. I'm going to be grabbing our fence gate. Let's open that up. Let's drop a campfire top and extinguish that bit right there. Then on this side, I'm going to leave that clean. And then on this side, I'm going to be two, putting two windows. Let's put one right here, one and two. Let's go ahead. Actually, let's go one and two on this end. Let's just put one and two on this side. I'm going to be grabbing our stairs again. Let's go upside down on this section and then one straight on that end. Let's go one on this side and then one on that side. Leaving our trap doors opening on the opposite ends right there. Then let's open up our gates and then let's grab our campfires. Let's put that on the top. Also for extra details, I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, bush right underneath that window. Let's put another one underneath that one. Then underneath this, we're just going to be grabbing some of our trap doors and let's put those right underneath just like so. I'm also going to go on this end and do the same thing. So let's grab a bush, put that in the center. And then underneath here, we're just going to be putting a trap door as well. Now from here, let's add some windows to the bottom. I'm going to put one on the same level that one is at. And we're going to also do the same style with our stairs going down like this. We're also going to be putting our trap doors and matching exactly what we did at the top. Then grabbing our gate that we have here, adding our campfire block, putting this also on the top and extinguish that bit. We're going to leave this all clean and flush. I'm going to add something really nice to that side. And then right here, we're going to add one more window. And I'm going to be putting this window just on this side, matching the same line we have right there. And then also matching the same placement of the window. And we're going to close this up and do the same trick by adding our gates and also our campfire on top. Now jumping to the front here, let's give this front door a little bit of an overhang. So I'm going to be putting two upside down stairs right there, two campfire blocks on top extinguish those and then just add two trap doors on the bottom edge of that section and we have that then on the inside part here really super simple just going to add two doors one and one over here and then we're going to add some of our oak trap doors on the top and it should look like this from the outside now coming here on the inside let's go ahead and set up this level over here so we're going to be putting a line of spruce every other one going down this direction and in the gaps we're also going to do those trap doors we did on the other side now for the ceiling up here, we're going to be grabbing our strip spruce logs and let's take it all the way down right at this level. We're going to take it down every other one going all the way down from front to back. And then in the gaps here, we're just going to be grabbing our spruce slabs and taking that all the way down as well. And since we're up here, let's work on the interior. So what I want to do, I want to elevate this backside here. So starting from this block, let's count one, two, three, and four. Let's put a beam going down right here, the same one we have up top. Let's put a beam going straight down this level. Then here to change up the color a little bit, let's grab some of our oak and let's cover up this top end right over here. Now, right in this section, let's actually take this down and let's put our beam going up. I'm going to be grabbing some fences over here and let's drop these fences going down this side. Let's get rid of that bit and let's put a stair right here of our oak. On top of this log, we're also going to put a slab. So we have this way up to this level right here. And just for added details, I'm going to add some trap doors to the top to match what we have on the outside. Now back here, we're going to have an area for our toolsmiths to sleep. And you can have as many beds as you want over here. I'm going to put two. So I'm going to put one on this side and then one here, giving a space in between each. Uh, in these corners, I like using barrels, but I won't do it so we don't get fishermen. Instead, I'm going to be using our stripped dark oak logs going down like so. 
Then I'm gonna be putting some of our item frames in those gaps. Then grab some oak trap doors and I'm gonna be putting these almost like little drawers that can be opened up and you can turn those to the sides. Any side would do and something like that will look pretty good. Then from here, uh, we can go ahead and maybe put a lantern on one on each side. Let's put a flower pot in the middle. Pretty much any plant there would do. Up here, we could do a little bit of a shelving unit. Let's go ahead and put slabs every other one, trap doors in the gaps. Then up here, we can add, um, let's add some chests. Uh, we can also add just a little bit of detail, maybe a couple chests. Let's add uh, maybe another flower pot and maybe just some seed pickles and then put anything. Maybe a fern will do really nicely up there. We can even add some paintings on the top. Maybe put a couple on each side, not the same one. There we go, something like that looks pretty good. Down here, we can add a little bit of a kitchen area, so I can maybe put a furnace on one side. Uh, we can't put a cauldron because we'll make leather workers, but we can actually put a stair facing downwards like so, and that should be uh, just fine. Uh, we can bring in uh, dark oak again to give like a little bit of a cabinet there. Put some water right here so we can waterlog that bit. Then we can come back here and do our same trick and give a little bit of a shelving unit. So maybe slabs every other one, trap doors in the gaps. We can bring back our chest going down like so. Over here, we can add a flower pot, flower on top, and maybe another lantern to light this area up. Now in this corner for some added details, let's put a note block there at the bottom with a flower pot, throw a cactus on top, and then maybe lift a couple bushes up. So we've got a nice little planter there on that corner. Then maybe on this side, we can add a trap door on that end with a flower pot on top, maybe a dead bush right there. And then maybe one more on this level right here. And then uh, we can add sea pickles to the top of that one. And there you go, we're dropping our door. You can also add carpet down here, but uh, if we're gonna add some, I might just add it here on this corner only. I wouldn't put any in the front of the doors because then if you have a villager in here, they get kind of locked in here because of the carpet. So if anything, you could put some on that side. You could put some up here, but I think that should be okay. But there it is, we got our second floor done. Now on the outside here, we can add a couple bits of detail. I would add maybe a fence post to one of these sides. Either one is fine and a lantern out here just to light this area up. We can add a little bit of a seat over here. Oh, we can add it to either side. I think this side will be a little bit better. Maybe right here we can add one and two. Maybe we could put some uh, spruce signs on each end. And then down here, I would add just maybe a couple flower pots and just some random flowers on these. Something like that on each side looks great. And we have a nice clear way to get in. Now jumping for the interior for this section, I'm just gonna replace this flooring just with some oak really quick. And just to make this look a little bit better, I'm gonna actually knock this part down and let's make a nice little archway to get into this. And then really simple, we're just gonna be putting some upside down stairs on each side there. And it gives us a clear way in to this section. It's almost gonna be like a little bit of a workstation there for the villagers since upstairs are gonna be the living area. Down here is where they're gonna be doing all their working and tinkering. Now step number one down here, I wanna knock down this little bit since we have those stairs in the back and we can use this to our advantage to do a little bit of a display case. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some upside down stairs, one on each side and a slab in the middle. Here I'm gonna go with a stair facing down, another one facing down and a slab on top. Then back here, let me just put some random weapons. And there you go, we got a diamond sword, a netherite sword, and a golden axe. Very cool, old school video game. And then grab some glass and just cover that bit up. So we have a little bit of a display case right there. Uh, we could even put some lighting underneath if you wanted to, but I think it looks pretty good just like that. Then coming over here to the back, I wanna give this almost like a little bit of a counter. So right from this level, I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, dark oak um, log all the way down, one, two, three, and four, leaving this one open. I'm gonna put a gate right here. We can go ahead and put that out of spruce right there on this section. So it's for like employees only back here. And then on this side, we can have people come to the counter, ask for any kind of weapon they want uh, that they might need or whatever. Then to kind of match what we did upstairs, I have these cool note blocks right there. Let's put some of our flower pots on top there, dead bush on top of those. And on this side, I'm gonna put an oak leaf. And on this side, I'm gonna put a birch leaf. So we got these cool, awesome leaves right there. It looks really awesome. Then right here in the back, let's give ourselves a nice little counter space. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this all the way around just like so, and it kind of surrounds it upside down stairs all the way in the top level. Then over here, let's get some grindstone so we can have a couple extra, plus the villagers can be back here hanging out in this corner. Uh, let's maybe put a grindstone right on top of one of these. Maybe one more over here. Uh, let's grab some details and let's grab some chests, maybe a chest on that side. Let's put a chest up top. Let's grab another note block, use that as a barrel instead of an actual barrel. Uh, let's actually put one over here on this corner as well. Let's stack some chests up going down like so. Let's also add a flower pot as well to one of these, maybe right there. 
Let's grab a lantern to light up this area just a bit. But I'm gonna put them, uh, let's put one on this corner and then maybe one more on this corner. Then let's grab some item frames and let's go ahead and put some more weapons on the top. And then we can have a little bit of a rack here on this corner, just like so on the top area as well. Maybe one more on the bottom here. And then down here below, we can add a little bit of carpet as well. Let's go with some cyan uh, and just drop this randomly on the bottom, kind of scatter it a little bit like so. That looks pretty good. We can even mix a little bit of white there. It looks pretty cool with the cyan, just in random spots. And there we go, we got all of our weapons up here. The most deadly is that golden spoon, don't even ask. But uh, this is looking really, really awesome. I added just a little pressure plate right there. We can even add a little bit of carpet there in the front if you want, but I think this is looking pretty good. Now let's work on the last and final outside bit. I just noticed I placed barrels for details. Take those away, I changed my mind. We don't want any fishermen in here, not yet. There we go, the fisherman crisis has been averted, but if you're using this for yourself and not for villagers, yeah, yeah I would put those. But to replace those detail bits, we can go ahead and get some signs of our spruce and just randomly um, surround these on the top sides and maybe even down here on the bottom ends, just to give you a little bit of detail um, so we don't have to use those barrels. And there you go, looking pretty awesome. Now, next up, let's go ahead and do a little bit of flooring details here. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of coarse dirt, a little bit of pods, so a little bit of gravel, and add some decorations to the outside to make this build stand out just a little bit more. And there it is, our weaponsmith is all done. I love the grounds here. Just mixing in a little bit of coarse dirt with some grass, leaving in some of the sand in just random spots over here, but then adding some gravel uh, to the uh, the area. He's doing his black smithery, <laughs> looking so good. Look at that eye patch, he's so awesome. Also back here I added, almost like this is like the apron that he wears right there, you see that? It looked kind of cool right there with another right. So just little details like that make these builds stand out the most. Added a little bit of lava down here to the bottom, so stairs i turned those sideways so we could do a make it a little bit more detailed there at the bottom he can't get hurt in there so he's safe he's all right uh, we have a little quenching station over here some more weapons a little seat there with the grindstone uh, I do believe there's another villager in here. There he is. This guy's the one manning uh, the front desk right there. And they change up in case anybody wants to come in here and do any kind of orders. That is looking really cool. I do love the details here around the back. Just adding a little bit of greenery to your desert builds. Make it looks, uh, it looks almost oasis-like. And I really do like that. Back here, I added a little bit of a vine wall, a little ivy wall. Just to add detail to the sides of the walls that don't have any windows. And that just adds to those details. I love it. Uh, here, we just added some fences, some vines in here as well and then also some ladders just to add to that oh and it's so cool what do you guys think <laughs> this one came out really cool and it's also matching exactly what we did over there to our other villager profession the shepherd but this is it this is the uh the weaponsmith let me know what you guys want to see next we got so many other amazing villagers coming up i do love the color palette we're using here let me know if you do as well but i'm out of here for now thank you all so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me today and i'll catch you guys on the next episode goodbye Thank you.